Come on in. Come on in. Hi, boss. Hey, Dimitri, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? Uh, you know, busy as always. What can I do for you? So, um, we have a new employee, actually, and we need, um, uh, basically, provision new desktop. You got a new employee? Yep. You know what this means, right? Uh, no, really. Yeah. Gonna have to do something here. Scott, well, got to get rid of Scott. Hate to do it. All right. You can do the dirty work for me. Well, I can do it, of course, but then how are we gonna do it for Scott? <sighs> I'm not sure. Bring him in. I'll talk to him. I'll let him go. Okay. This is the problem with legacy storage. They place artificial limits on your solutions. In this case, this poor company had one virtual desktop image per employee but were stuck at the limit and had to fire an employee just to stay within the bounds of their product. Now you've seen the problems that occur when your legacy storage solution places artificial limits on you for the number of VM images and snapshots that you can take. Now let's take a look at Citrix Storage Link product together with the Nexenta Store adapter for Citrix Storage Link. Let's see how easy it is to create a set of virtual machine images without those artificial limits. We're first going to create a storage profile. Call it Nixento Storage Profile. And we're going to select just one disk which contains Debian operating system on it. And we will make sure that this, this disk is bootable. The storage profi profile appears and it's bootable. Now we are going to create a new template. Call it Debian. I'm going to make sure that this is low load template and I'm going to make sure that we are using Nexenta storage profile. As you can see, we can also create a um, profile for Hyper-V if needed. But today we are going to demonstrate Zen Citrix host only. You will see the profile is created. Now we're going to create virtual machine. And in this example, we're going to create on a Zen host. The type will be a snapshot. And we want to create 256 virtual machines. Some legacy storage solutions uh, have a limitation in 255. So in this little example, we show that we literally don't have any limits for the number of VMs which we can create. And it's scene provisioning by default. So we'll execute this. The work can be observed in the job section. and it will take not much time. So as you can see on the screen, the new virtual machines has been created and you can see the numbers of them going on and on. It will take some time for them to fin for the work to finish. Um, we can probably highlight one of the machine and see. Uh, we can the, the the actual storage is not attached yet, but it's in the middle of it. Uh, let's take a look on storage infrastructure and see what is actually happening. As we can see, new snapshots clones appears 
we can probably highlight one of them and see that uh, the capacity is 4 gigs and the use space is 0 because it's in provision so even though even though the box is limited in size uh, we can uh, actually create more virtual machines than the physical storage uh, which is in the box currently and we can take a look on what actual names this is this is actual z walls on the system and we can try to correlate them with the Nixenta storage appliance itself these are new z walls as well so we can probably click on one of them so it's um the used blocks is actually uh, used uh, size is actually 46k and um yeah it's um it's basically available with the new virtual machine that that's uh, about it thank you